I am the Paul, and I speak for the trees, for the trees have no voices with which they can plead. Okay, then, then what does this one say? He says... Because, you know, trees don't really talk much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gordon. I'm Paul. I'm Lily. I am Izzy. And, and today we're going to go see the midnight showing of the Lorax. Woo! <laughs> well, <laughs> yay. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yeah. So, what, Taylor what, what, Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah. She's is the this, girl. Is this a good thing? She's awesome. So, my first thoughts are, so they got the Lorax played by Danny DeVito. My entire, the voice I heard in my mind as a kid when I heard the Lorax, not Danny DeVito, sorry. Um, not really. But so why did this have to be CGI? I mean, they could have just covered Danny DeVito in orange fur. We would have gotten the same effect. <laughs> <laughs> so when I saw the trailers for this film, basically, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I, I saw a film trailer that said the Lorax, and I saw something that looked absolutely nothing like the Lorax! There's a town! There's people! There's characters! There's a grandmother! There's a kid! What does any of that? What does any of this have to do with the Lorax? There was a kid in the book! I know there was a kid, but he didn't have a name, he didn't have a personality. He what was I? Just, he was the everyman. Um, what? Then, then, then there was the guy in the in the building. The one the Yeah, that guy. And he has the hammer. Yeah, that was in the book. So what I thought when I saw the trailer was, geez, well, it's time to go watch yet another CG movie. Yep, they're pretty much just pumping them out. They're not all different. They're about the same quality whenever you go watch one. Um, I do have a question as a monster. Yeah. What's a Lorax? Oh, he's uh, he's the uh, guardian of the forest. He's the 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 uh, personal embodiment of the concept of nature. Paul, that's far too boring of an explanation. Uh, he's tree god. Uh, ah! Well, let's go watch this. But I have to say one thing. Yeah. We are spending a midnight on a Thursday, right, to see the Lorax. I could be sleeping. I don't work in the morning. Do we not have better things to do than watch the Lorax? No. Seriously? As long as he speaks for the trees, I'm happy. Well, it's like midnight. Uncle. Let's go. All right. Uh, See you guys uh, after the film. Uh, Hi. So we have just come out of the Lorax. Yep. We have spent our time. We have done the crime. Uh, yeah. I'm Ooh. tired. Mm -hmm. Who's ready for bed? Oh, hey, me. So, wait, wait, wait. These people want to know what we think of the Lorax. It's okay. The fish were cute. They sounded like chipmunks. <laughs> I hate the chipmunks! Actually, they sounded exactly like the minions from, uh, from, uh, what was that? Despicable Me. Well, yeah, of yeah. course they sound like the minions yeah. from Despicable Me. Guess what company made this? Oh, yeah. The same. Only, not only that, we got to see the Despicable Me minions already in the, in the thing. In the it, beginning. Yeah. So I am deeply disturbed by I, one thing in this movie. It made one that? major sin. It, it we, used pop music in the credits. Oh, besides that, that ah. that's the second ah. major sin. Wait, wait, we had. Ah. Okay, um, anyway. Pop um, music, yes. I but like the songs. They're pretty good. We saw the Wunzler. We can't see the Wunzler. That's okay. like seeing the Dr. Claw in that Inspector Gadget that. movie. That's a capital offense. Yeah, but we're not supposed to know what he looks like. We're He's... not supposed to know what Dr. Claw looks like. We're supposed to see his arm. But we saw the entire Wunzler. He danced and sang. Yeah, and the Lorax uh, came back. Yep. Well, that's another. The Lorax came back. That reminds me of my uncle. That never happened. Th no. Your uncle is the Lorax? Well, he's... Or is he the Wunzler? Well, Does he live in a shack alone? And orange and furry, so... Well, huh. I well, guess. Yeah. Possible. So, overall, I actually enjoyed this film. I'm just not exactly sure how I liked it as a Lorax film. One major problem I had was yeah. it's it's basically just a cookie-cutter kids film. Yeah, CGI. a lot of it is. Yeah. Uh, is it the bad thing? At least it, straight, it stayed away from pop culture references. True. Mm -hmm. And really annoying, stupid stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. Other than that, it's an alright movie. Yep. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I saw it. Yes. I'll probably see it once or twice more. Yeah. Can we go home on, on no. video. Look, look, the Lorax. He has come to us. He has come in a vision. 
Thank you, Lorax. You have taught us so much. And you sound like Danny DeVito for whatever reason. I hate how in these trailers for these movies, they have to use their one joke that they think is the funniest. And they have to play it in every trailer. It just is not... It's like, this is our funniest joke. That's a woman? Yeah, did we not hear this joke enough in the trailers? Seriously? Well, I had to watch it like every day for like two months. So. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, the trailer using the one funny joke gets overplayed. And it's not that funny. No, no, it's not. No, there's a lot of uh, funnier jokes, but they are more plot relevant. So. Right. Yeah. 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 This go. is Paul. This is Gordon. This is Lily. This is Mizzy. And we are the NT Review, Review Crew. Crew. Signing off. Yay!